Good evening everyone, today I am going to go ahead and show you how to make a nice, simple, delicious egg curry with potatoes. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make that. And what I need for my egg curry, into my dish over here, I have 12 eggs that I went ahead and I boiled and peeled. And over here into my dish, I have 3 large potatoes that I went ahead and nicely sliced about 1 inch thick. And my dish here, I have some chopped scallion, onion, garlic, celery, thyme, basil, some fine leaf thyme, tomatoes, and chili pepper, and some parsley that I have chopped up into my plate over here. And into my dish over here, I have some curry powder, turmeric, toasted brown jeera, some of us know it as cumin and some toasted ground garam masala that I have there. Also into my dish over here, I went ahead and I blended my green seasoning. Look how delicious that looks. And I do have a video on my channel how to go ahead and make green seasoning. Basically what's in my green seasoning, it's some onion, garlic, celery, thyme, basil, chili pepper, um, some, you know, fine leaf thyme. All of those goodness that I went ahead and I blended into my seasoning there. Into my pot over here, let's go ahead and start with this curry. And this is a very, very simple curry. This is one of the easiest curry that you're going to be making. There's nothing fancy or nothing hard about making a curry. So what are we going to do? We are going to take our mixture for the curry and add it to our oil which I have about two tablespoons of olive oil that's heating up nicely here and you're going to toast this for about two to three minutes into the oil you do not want to rush this part you want to make sure that all that natural flavor from the masala the curry powder the turmeric Everything comes out nicely from toasting it into the oil here. So I'm going to let this toast up for about two to three minutes. Nicely here. And this is one of the important parts of making curry. You don't ever want to rush this part. Into my curry mixture here, let's add one and a half teaspoon of our blended green seasoning and only if you could smell this it smells so good and then let this continue to fry here and there are two different ways of making curry one of it, you could go ahead and fry your eggs, your boiled eggs, into the oil. And if you don't want to do that, you could just go ahead and boil it into your curry without frying it into the oil. But I do have another video on my channel where I went ahead and fried it into my oil before I curry it. Now let's go ahead and add our potatoes. And give this a nice big toss here. You're going to lower your stove to medium heat. To that, I will add some black pepper. And I will be adding one teaspoon of garlic powder and half a teaspoon of chicken bouillon if you have vegetable bouillon you can go ahead and use that that is for just flavoring I'm going to add just a tiny bit of water to get the masala over here let's go ahead and give this a nice mix here and this smells so good already Cooking up so nicely here. Let 
me bring my camera in so I can show you what this looks like. Look at that. That is cooking up so nicely there. Okay, so I'm going to put my stove on medium heat. And I am going to cover my pot for about 5 minutes. So let that bungee for about 5 minutes before I added any water to my pot. I'm going to let this bungee for about 5 minutes. Then I will come back and show you the next step. Okay, so my curry's been on now for about 5 minutes. Let's check on that. And this is looking so good here. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I will go ahead and add it one cup of hot water. Okay, and let me show you how nicely that is cooking up there. Look at that curry. That is cooking up so nicely there. So let's go ahead and add a cup of hot water. You just want your water to be right over your potatoes, about half an inch over your potatoes. You don't want too much water. Just like that. And then I'm going to cover my pot. I'm not going to be adding my eggs yet. I'm going to be adding my eggs next five minutes. I'm going to cover my pot. And I'm going to let that cook for about five minutes. Then I'll come back and add my other ingredients and show you what it looks like. Okay, so the curry been on now for about five minutes. Let's check on that. And this is boiling up so nicely here. So what I'm going to do at this point, I am going to add all of my seasoning into my pot here. And give this a nice big toss. Just like that. All that seasoning cooking nicely into my pot here. And I am going to cover it and let it boil for another two to three minutes. Then I will go ahead and add my eggs. I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, so the curry been on now for about 10 minutes. Let's go ahead and check on that. And this is cooking up so nicely here. So at this point, let's add our eggs. We need to add all of our eggs here. And give this a nice toss. You're going to go ahead and check for your salt. Make sure you have enough salt. I will already went ahead and checked for my salt so I know that mine have enough salt so I'm gonna let this cook for an additional 10 minutes look how nicely this curry is cooking up here let me bring my camera in look at that so my curry is cooking up nicely here I'm gonna let it cook for another 10 minutes then I will take it off and show you what it looks like. And there you have it guys. A delicious, homemade, simple and easy egg curry with potatoes. If you like this video, kindly give it a thumbs up. On the right hand corner of the screen, there is a notification bell. You could go ahead and click on that. So you will not miss out on any of my videos. Today I bring you a simple, easy, delicious egg curry. There are many different ways of cooking egg curry. This is one of my way of making egg curry. I do have other videos with different ways of making it. You could go ahead and check that out. 
Thank you for watching. Please remember to like and share. Let me bring it closer to the camera so you can see what it looks like. Look at that deliciousness. Delicious, delicious egg curry. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.